Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nest. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick boot review from Timberland, aka Tim Golden Boot. And as usual, I'm gonna share with you guys my three different looks I create to go with this boot. Let's go. So my first time that I interact with this pair of yellow boots is when I was in high school. I seen a lot of people wearing Tim during the winter time, especially the people that wear the pants that are under their butt. And to me, like first time I saw the yellow boot, I'm not really into that because of the color of the boot. Until now, like I'm not really into the yellow color boot. Me personally, I'm into boots that have mainly black colorways or dark brown colorway but i would prefer black color boot and a uh, yellow boot i understand it is very iconic and have a long history since 1970 mainly created for working boot and also their main target were really white and blue color worker they start to taking off because you know biggie and nas is called new york rapper they're rocking timberland aka team and you can see the construction patterns on the timberland influence to a lot of mainstream high-end designer once i will really uh, get inspired from this timberland boot especially the upper of it i'm just want to create a little bit twist on my own pattern when I make the shoe. Very similar constructions, especially around this upper with a multiple contrast stitch. I basically got the detail from the Timberland boot. Um, the original, they designed it eight inches height and then they reduced it to six inches height. Um, I bought this one is at the Timberland premium six inches waterproof boot. I think six inches is still tall for me. Um, me as a short guy, I think like they already almost cover entire my cap, so um, I can't imagine that where a inch boot gonna cover my entire legs. And the pricing on this boot is two hundred and ten dollar. Uh, fitting on this boot is not too too side. Uh, even though you if you wear like your regular side, then um, I think you can go half a side down if you want a snug fit. To me, like boot always need to have a little bit roomy in the far foot, you know, area because sometimes you wear thicker socks during the winter time. They come with two different whip. This one is uh, the standard medium whip. They have the wider whip. I think the medium whip fit me really good already. This boot look very classic. However, they feature a lot of technology into this boot first let's talk about the comforts on the boot because to me it's a very important especially in a pair of boot you know the quality leather look good aesthetic wise look very stylish but to me comforts always it's a top priority in to a pair of boot because you know boot is already heavy you know usually good quality boot is heavy and also uh, most of them they are not really comfortable but this one is very comfortable because they're featuring one of the Timberland technology which is the anti-fatigue technology from Tim um, this technology is unique molded foam footbed you can see a curvature inside this insole you know uh, over time when you wear them it's gonna start to mold inside your foot and also the invert honeycomb pattern underneath this honeycomb pattern system though can absorb socks and also return the energy with every step you walk and also this insole is very thick too this is the main comforts on a pair of Timberland and also on this insole you can see there's a two different material in the far foot you can see they use prime look also one of the Timberland technology installations helping you to stay drive and warm and also comfort uh, this fabric right here you can see it in the lining as well around the far foot area where the toe box at is go all the way to in the middle of this shoe and in the back of the shoes is basically is the leather lining you see that's already two technology that featuring in just 
a piece of insole like this on the Timberland boot. The outsole on this, they use an injecting mold. However, though, this injecting mold of plastic, they mix with 50% recycled material. So it's also eco-friendly on this tooling. And go to the labial side in the back of the heel counter, you can see there's the deboss of the Timberland tree. Uh, this is a very iconic logo branding, you know, on this pair of boot. I have seen a lot of different yellow boot. They don't have this stem, you know, the Timberland stem right here in the heel counter, which is they may not have the originality and also the technology may not there compared to the Timberland boot. Timberland tree tech is also very iconic. I think majority of people wear Timberland, they don't really take these tags out. I think it's more like a statement when you wear with this tag on. Um, I love this tag because it's very stylish as well. If you if you know what I mean, you know, it's more like show that you are wearing a brand new pair of Tim. And in the color, it's heavily padded also for comfort from the ground up, from the insole of the shoes to the color of this shoe. In the eye state area, they use the golden yellow metal eyelet in the hexagon shape. It's also one of the key details on this yellow team. And go to the tongue area. Basically, this tongue, it doesn't have lining. It's a very thick leather. They have gusses in tongue, so prevent the water or dust, you know, some rocks that get inside of your shoe. To me, personally, style though, I wouldn't recommend people lace all the way up and tie them. Um, I just leave it hang like this, you know, it look way cooler. Uh, it look better in my opinion. It's called premium for a reason. The material leather that they use on this boot is very good. Fitting on this boot though, majority boot are fitting like roomy a little bit around the toe area. I rather when you wear a pair of boot that have roomy a little bit uh, around your toe box because sometimes you wear thicker socks during the winter time so um, that's gonna take out a little bit of the space. Um, to me like in the end of the day I'm not really into the yellow colors. This is way too pop for me. Uh, me I just like to be a little bit low key. So styling with the shoes is basically go with everything. Everything that you can see in your closet look nice on this boot. If you have like a dark pair of blue denim jeans look very good in this and also it look good with short too you know and um up next i'm gonna share with you guys how i would like to style them
So there you go. This is my quick boot review from Timberland. What do you think about this boot? Do you like the color yellow on the pair of boot? Or you not just like me? I'm still not really into a yellow color boot uh, in general, but I give it a try, you know, on this pair of iconic Timberland boot, six inches premium. And if you like one of the look in this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week. I can wait to share with you guys. I'm out.